I don't go to the doctors very often, not like my husband and his family. I get letters for smears and things, but what's the point if you feel well? Doctors is for if you're ill. My husband went nearly every week for years. There was always something the matter with him. I don't know, coughs, colds, pains here, pains there. He even went when he was going bald. Mind you, his mother was the same. I said to him, you would be much better off if you were lost weight and you gave up smoking. Turns out I was right because it was the cigarettes that got him in the end. I did have to go to the doctors though a few months ago because my tummy was really swollen. I looked pregnant at 67. Anyway, I didn't bother and I didn't go because, well, you think, don't you, these things will just go away on their own. Then I started to not feel well at all. I started to wee a lot and I felt sick most of the time. I thought I'd got cystitis. So I rang the doctors and asked for a prescription for antibiotics. I mentioned that uh, I thought I was pregnant and it made the, made the receptionist and me laugh. She said she'd have a word with the doctor. Anyway, she did, and she rang me back and she said I could attend that evening. Well, I was amazed. Goodness, I thought business must be slow, because usually you've got to wait two to three weeks, you know, before you get an appointment. Anyway, I attended the appointment with Fran, my daughter. The surgery had changed quite a lot. There were posters and leaflets everywhere. I knew the doctor from, oh, years ago, and he was really nice, and it was good to, good to have a catch-up. He asked if he could examine me, and after, his, after he had examined me, he said that he was worried that my abdomen was really swollen, and he thought that I might have some fluid in there called ascites. I think that's how you say it. He organised some blood tests in the surgery that same day and he said that he, he was worried that something wasn't quite right and he suspected I might have a bowel cancer. He said the tests included uh, cancer marking which looked for other cancers like ovaries and he said I would be referred to um, a specialist and I would be seen in two weeks. Well, I was really worried. But you know what? In a way, I was relieved because I knew there was something not quite right and, and my bowels had been playing up. But I thought that was just because I wasn't eating as much. I was really worried about the test results and the doctor said he would phone me the next day when they came into the surgery. Well, the following morning, he did phone and uh, I, I was with our Fran and um, I asked him if he wouldn't mind speaking to her and she, she put the phone on speaker so that I could join in. And the doctor said that the tests had come back and that one of them indicated that I might have a cancer of the ovary and that my referral had been changed to a gynaecology consultant. He was really kind and very patient and said, you know, have you got any questions? But oh, I just couldn't think straight. So I just said, no, thanks for calling. Anyway, I saw the specialist two days later, which I thought was really quick. And it made me think, my goodness, how bad is this? She was really kind. And um, she explained that I would have to have some more tests. And she told me what, what the treatments might be after, after the test results had come through. The staff were really kind. I couldn't fault any of them. Well, things moved very quickly after that. There were tests and, and there were appointments and there were scans. 
I ended up having to have chemotherapy and that honestly wasn't the best of times. I felt awful. I was so ill and so sick after each treatment. But I do feel a lot better now. I saw a counsellor and I know that my cancer can't be cured, but I try not to think about that and concentrate on looking forward with our Fran. I've also been in touch with another lady, Margaret, who's had cancer, and I've found talking to her really helpful. It really helps you not to give in to it all. Any regrets? Well, no, not really. Everyone's been marvellous. I am so glad that the GP didn't just give me that prescription for antibiotics, but saw me instead. I think the receptionist was worried about me and uh, she was really easy to talk to. I am so grateful to her. She was marvellous. The hospital have been great too. If there's just one thing, it's that I sometimes wonder if I'd have had a better chance of being cured if I'd gone earlier or if I'd known more about cancer earlier. But too late for that now.